Hello and welcome to the Footsteps Scene Designer Pro Demo Scene Overview video. In this video, we're going to take a moment to go over the two demo scenes that come included in Footsteps Scene Designer so you have an idea of what they are and what they do. The demo scenes can be located in the Scenes folder in the Footsteps Scene Designer Pro subfolder. And there are two scenes to play with. There's Footsteps Demo Scene 1 and there's Footsteps Sound Test. Now I know I'm showing two other scenes here, but these have a little note, do not run, called from scene one. So scene one is actually the master scene, and in it you're going to be able to teleport to scene two, and from uh, scene two teleport to scene three, and we'll go over that in a minute. But first, we are going to start with the footstep demo sound test, which I already have loaded. And let's run that and see what it does. We are walking on rock here grass, transitioning here to gravel, grass, sand. So as you can see, this particular scene demonstrates how the various textures map out to various footstep sounds. Grass, snow, Back to grass. Here we have what's called forest. Sounds like twigs and rocks. Grass, and now this is actually a game object that we're walking on, and this is a wood sound that you're hearing. Back to grass and dirt. This particular scene uses nine of the 11 supported sound types in Footsteps Scene Designer Pro. Seven of them are textures, one, two, three, four, five, six, and the grass makes seven. One of them is applied to a game object, and the other one is applied to a water plane. So essentially every surface type that you'll encounter in your own game designs is represented. This and the next scene I'm about to show you are intentionally simple, so you're not overwhelmed by a complex scene and can more easily focus on how the scripts included in this package are used and interact with one another. The last demo scene included in this project is Footsteps Demo Scene 1. Remember that these two aren't run, they are called from Scene 1. So you're going to have to run Scene 1 to get to Scene 2 and Scene 3. So let's load Scene 1 and let's run it. Actually, before we do, let's take a look at Scene 1. And as you can see, it's a simple scene. The purpose of these three scenes, incidentally, is to show how terrain textures and sounds can be mapped individually on a scene-by-scene -scene basis. Let's take her for a spin. We're on grass, now we're on dirt, grass, sand, and teleporting, hitting that box teleports you. Now we're on the second scene, S2. We're on dirt, gravel, dirt, stone, and teleporting to the third scene just by bumping into that box again. We're on snow, grass, and now we're gonna go into that forest type sound. So let's take a look at exactly what we're trying to show here. Let's go to the terrain of scene one. And as you can see, we have um, a grass association with the grass sound, a dirt association with the dirt sound, a sand association with the sand sound. So we're mapping the textures to the sounds. And uh, if we open up scene two and we go to the terrain, we're going to see that the dirt is associated with a dirt sound, gravel with a gravel sound, concrete with a concrete sound. Go to um, scene three, check out the terrain, same thing. We have individual associations on a per scene basis. And that's really powerful if you have a multi-scene project, as you can readily make changes to one without impacting another. For instance, let's change this dirt sound to broken glass and rerun the scene. And now our dirt is broken glass. And we didn't mess with any of the other scenes. The dirt here sounds like dirt. One caveat, you will have to add 
scene one, two, and three to your build settings. I've taken them out to show you what it looks like if you don't have them in your build settings. When you hit the teleportation device, nothing. It won't do anything. And in fact, it'll give you an error, as you can see at the bottom of the screen, which tells you exactly that it couldn't load the scene because it wasn't added to the build settings. And to do that, you pretty much load the scene. We have scene one loaded. Go to File, Build Settings, Add Current, Open Up Scene 2, Add Current, Open Scene 3, Add Current, Close it, and let's run or load Scene 1 and run it, and you're good to go. Anyway, that's all I got. I hope you like this video. I'm going to include a bunch of links with additional information on Footsteps Scene Designer Pro in the description below. Thanks for watching.